Hey there everyone, it's Val, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Uh, let's see, what should I... how should I start this? I did a little bit of uh, prep work off screen, not a lot, but just enough. Um, as you may notice that I am in... I'm in the Black Cove. We are about to go talk to Headless Nick because, well, I almost forgot to do that. And let me just get my DOS to-do list open here, wherever I put it. Ah, there it is. Alrighty. That way, in theory, I won't forget things that I want to do. That's the theory. Alrighty. Hello, open world. Welcome to the stream. I say that when I've just been chatting with you for a couple of minutes already. <laughs> uh, yes, here we are. Alrighty. So, there's a little bit of crafting. Uh, I got a tip from the Mathu. The mother, Mathu, I, I, yeah, one day I'll figure out how to say that. Anyway, what you need is a, two sheets of paper. And in this case, I have one sheet of paper because I already have a blank fire scroll. So you take an essence, so you can do this with earth essence, air essence, etc., etc. You just need two of the same kind. Or two blank scrolls of whatever description you want. Split, please. There we go. So as you can see, I've got a few things set up here. Now, what you do is you take your two blank scrolls of whatever school and just put them on top of each other and that gives you a blank skill book. Which is lovely. Uh, and of course it put it up there for me. So let's just go ahead and do that with the various ones that I got set up. And then you, you take a scroll that you bought for some paltry amount of money, like Purifying Fire, for example, and you just drop it on the skill book. And voila, you have your own skill book that you didn't pay out the nose for. The mother, thank you so much. This is awesome. Now, of course, right now I'm making things that I won't be able to use for a little bit. For example, I can't memorize this one till level 16. But the point is, we have it, and that is awesome. This one, level 11, that's yeah, a little ways away. That sounds also level 11. But I wanted to do three different ones as an example. And so now let's put them away in a backpack to be used at a later date. Let me, I think, no, that's not it. it. must be the third one. Ah, there we go. Let's put this in here. And later on we can decide who's going to get them. I have a suspicion that I'm probably going to give this one to Jahan. And these two are probably going to go to uh, our friendly neighborhood redhead here because she is the one that has geomancy and fire. I still need to find uh, a water elemental and that one will be for Jahan. I, I thought it was the earth elemental that I was missing, which I was, but I think uh, the water one would come in handy as well because I would like Jahan to have several options as to what to uh, create. All right, open world ball. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, those awesome news for you. I'm so happy. You are probably pretty happy too about it. <laughs> Take care. All righty. So now let's uh, let's go talk to Headless Nick. Well, apparently we can't talk to him very much, but let's see if he has anything to sell that we might want to purchase. No, nah, not so much. All right, let's talk to his daughter. My friend returns. 
Indeed. So, what's the scoop? Made any progress on in retrieving my father's noodle? Uh, let me just check to see if you have anything we want to purchase. Uh, not so much. About your father's head. Well, out with it. Did you find it? Or what? I found him. One complete papa coming right up. Well, ain't that just the happiest of all endings? Now father and daughter can finally have the tete-a-tete -tete I've been waiting for. Ha! Until we meet again. Up. It's about time, you old man. So, what'd you say to get a move on out of this place? You got it, you know. Ooh! I wonder what's in here. Oh! Well, we will, uh, let's have a, a look at that. That is, uh, I suppose we could try sharpening it before we sell it. Uh, that would be the one that we just got. Seeing as it's unidentified. Hmm. Uh, no, that's, I think that's one we've gotten before. Speed plus one. What have you got? Eh. Okay, we'll sell that one. Um, I've also been informed uh, by the mother, as a matter of fact, that... Well, let me just... Uh, let's go back to the north gate. Whilst I explain. The cave that you can go into to talk to Belagar by the talking statues. I don't know if it's a bug or not. Um, the Matha told me that if Valentine was the one that spoke to him by herself, I would get uh, a unique dialogue option. Well, I loaded a saved game and I went in there with only Valentine. Uh, and he still referred to, to her as a male because he complains about a male coming into his domain. And he still complained about Valentine, who is by herself, and a female. That, yeah, so I think there's uh, an issue there. So I couldn't see what the unique dialogue option was that uh, the Mathu was referring to, so that's that's too bad. Now, something else that uh, the Ma Mathu uh, pointed out to me, and I actually did know this about sharpening weapons, I did not know, however, you could do this also with metal armor. <clears throat> so that uh, piece of armor we just got, we can put it on the anvil here and increase its movement, uh, or decrease its movement penalty, I guess is a better way to put it, which also increases the value. You can do that with metal shields as well. So it's a good thing to do if you want to make extra cash from selling things. So I'm just going to pop over here and give you a quick demonstration. Since we just got a piece of armor and, well, a, a sword. I think I, I've done this before. Uh, I don't know if I've done it on stream, but I suspect I have at least uh, once or twice. Alright, so it does 17 to 24. But you take it and you drop it on the anvil. Which makes it a polished dagger. Interesting, that one actually changed it entirely. And look at the damage on it now. That is incredible. <laughs> ah, it's a much better thing. That that one I haven't seen before, to be quite honest. Uh, I haven't seen it actually change to a different item. Now, here's the armor. Actually, let me just go back and make a note. The movement penalty, you lose 0.38 off your movement. And by putting it on there, you actually get a movement increase of 0.10. And I, I did run this uh, procedure on both Bravehearts and Claresta's armor already. So I thought that was pretty cool. Alrighty, so now let's go talk to Jake. Um, the Bathu was very kind and pointed out to me what I had been doing wrong. 
You can talk to Jake. I just was trying to click on the wrong thing. So when our uh, people arrive, which won't be too long, you click on, on the gravestone here. Actually, one touch that I would have liked to have seen um, that the dog doesn't do is that would recognize that Jake is back, but he doesn't seem to do that, which is too bad. Anyway, here we go. Here lies Jake. My savior! Where are you, Jake? See, like he still doesn't know where he is. Anyway. My savior! My death may have marked the end of my ten years as counselor of Sicil, but I dedicate every thread of life this grotesque form may contain to the cause of cleansing this fair city of the evils that plague her. Please let me know how I may be of assistance. Well, let's see what you have for sale. Wow. Don't really want to spend the money on it, but wow. Where's Braveheart? How does that compare to what you're using? You're, no, it's still showing... Oh, because she's the one that's talking to him. <clears throat> Can I see what he's got equipped? No. Uh, miscellaneous? No, it's just his contents of his backpack. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's go back to... Uh, Valentine then. But mm, I think that might be better than what he has, but I don't know if I want to spend the money on it. Because, well, we might we might find something good and not have to spend a penny. I will, however, buy that ruby because the rubies are hard to get. Uh, I would kind of like to talk to him with Claresta, so I'm going to take a risk and do the dialogue with him and then Come back in with Claresta and attempt to get that cheaper <laughs> than that. I mean, what does a zombie need money for anyway, really? <clears throat> I mean, we're her savior. Surely he just, you know, could give us, you know, the ruby, maybe? Greetings, my friend. I was just enjoying a peaceful nap within my coffin. It's rather more spacious than one would expect. And how can I help you? Uh, what can you tell me about your murder? Okay, I think we've already asked about who murdered you and about the witch and what Evelyn had to do with it and why she would have bothered to resurrect you. However, this I think is new. Evelyn referred to Bracchus Rex. Do you know what she meant? That name. I recall it only from the lessons of childhood. King Bracchus, yes, the last source king, as history remembers him. In the days when source magic held the land beneath its erratic and tyrannical fist, there was one despot who wielded its, wielded its power with the intention of complete destruction. Bracchus Rex, his followers called him. He nearly ravaged all of Rivalon in his source-addled madness. Only narrowly was he defeated, and his terrible power, source itself, banished from the land. Folk rumors have commonly held that Bracchus Rex was buried deep beneath the ancient temples of Sicile. Perhaps Evelyn was taken in by the tales and sought to play tri pay tribute to that wicked sorcerer. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, why would Evelyn bother to resurrect you? That I cannot say. I know not what this savage cult intended for me. Luckily, you saved me before I found out. Uh, I'm just going to ask him about the night he was murdered, just in case there's anything new there. Uh, no. No, we saw that before. So she was in the arms of, of uh, some guy. This white witch. And he, Jake didn't recognize him, apparently. Interesting. I wonder if that's the guy that raised the Baron. The Baron of the bo Baron of Bones, maybe. End the witch and do away with misery and Sicil. Mark my words, I'll look forward to seeing you. Oh, sorry. End the witch and do away with every misery in Sicil. Mark my words, I'll look forward to seeing you again, Source Hunters. Perhaps in the next life. 
All right. I'm sorry, I'm gonna wake you up again, Jake. Where are you, Jake? He's right there. Silly, silly dog. Alrighty. Yes, that's much. That's not cheaper. Did I click on? I, I thought I clicked on her. I could have sworn I clicked on her. Okay, I know for sure I clicked on her. I smell rotten lanterns. You should smell something else rotten too, dog. No, it won't let won't let her talk to him. Has to be one of my guys. Okay, well, I think I want. Uh. Okay, I want that uh, ruby in any case. So. Um. Well, we can get some of it back. How would you like a pot? There, Jake. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, we should also go talk to Aru because I noticed he had something new to talk about. So just figured it would save us time. Um, so I ran around in my uh, crafting stuff, which I didn't do too much of, to be quite honest, because there wasn't that much to do. But I was mostly checking to see if there was any stuff to buy that I wanted. I think this is where we're going. Once our patriots arrive. Sorry, sir. Hi, guys. You think that's funny? Okay. Come on. Into the room. Up the stairs. Oops. And visit the cat. He's always a cat lately. I want to see the cat thingy on his belt. And he's every cat every time we stop by. Did you? I find that highly suspicious. Since when does a pile of books waver like that? It's not a pile of books. It's something disguised. Ooh, what's that? Uh... Secrets of the Scroll. You no, know, I think he'd be a little peeved if we start picking up his books. However much I might like to look around. Would you qu quit washing your nether regions? We need to talk to my you. My friend returns! How can I help you, my friend? Alrighty, let's, let's talk about the Source Hunter. Ah! I think we already asked this one, didn't we? But let's ask him again. What do you know about an ancient king called Bracchus? Bracchus? I've read about him, of course. The last of the Sorcerer Kings, a madman who was defeated right here in Sicil. In fact, many of the ruins you, can, ruins you can find to the east, beyond the city walls, used to be palaces and temples built during his reign. They were used as quarries afterwards when they were constructing the town you see here today. Bracchus himself was buried somewhere nearby, but no one knows where the actual grave is. And a good thing that is, too. Imagine the necromancers at work getting hold of a creature like him. Uh, aha! Let's discuss the Baron of Bones and Bracchus. Cuddling kittens! That's quite a tale you tell there. A very disturbing one it is, too. Hmm. So, someone in Sicil, unless we're dealing a, dealing a complete stranger, is looking to resurrect an ancient sorcerer king. And it's probably a guy that Jake didn't recognize. In that case, your mission is clear. If source you must hunt, then most certainly you must chase the one who's trying to recall Bracchus's soul back from whichever hell it dwells. Word that I could offer you more than words alone. The tomb of this ancient king, it could lie beneath any spot in or around this ancient city. That's a pretty wide area. Um... I'm going to go in and talk about Jake's murder, but I think 
I'm pretty sure we already talked to him about this stuff, but I just... Uh, zombie... Uh, da, 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 da. White witch tells him something about the white witch. No, okay, we already talked to him about that stuff. All right, in that case, let's just see what you got for sale. See if you got anything brand new. Don't think so. You seem to still have the stuff we sold you. So yeah. Wow. A resurrect. You have four Resurrect Scrolls. Well... I didn't see those before. You might have had them before, but we are going to buy those. Until we meet again. Which will be two seconds from now. Hello. Alright, let's go ahead and buy these. I think there is a... Oh, so sorry. Didn't mean to insult you. There you go. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think it's worth uh, making sure that we have lots and lots of those. Uh. In fact, uh... alrighty. So you can have that one. You can have that one, and you can have that one. Fabulous. Now we need to talk. Go we'll talk to Cecil, the mayor. I heard a rumor he has something to speak to us about. Or something we can talk to him about. Depending on how you look at it. Is this the mayor's house? Or is this Esmeralda's? I think that's Esmeralda's, isn't it? Esmeralda? Yes, it is. That's okay, that'll cause them to run around this direction. Which... That's the mayor's right there, so... And while we're here, we'll just, you know... Double check that we didn't miss anything exciting. Because we did reload the game, and I think sometimes you can get new stuff coming in. We're here anyway. Alright. Hey, mayor. Ah, uh, let's have... Valentine, do the honors. My friend returned. Indeed. What? Ah, it's you. What news? What news? Uh, what do you know about someone called Bracus Rex? Well, I suppose as much as any other Thaddeus, Rich, or Harold. A shameful spot upon the history of Rivalon, that brute. As loath as I am to admit it, Sysiel was once quite a hub of the despot's supporters. Some even say his corpse was cast beneath the foundations of the abandoned church in the northeastern cliff. The church, you say? Old wives' tale, I say, but I suppose one never knows for sure. Ah, uh, did we talk to you about the White Witch? Let's do it again. Oh, she's a dear girl, a dear girl indeed. She's got a little cabin in Luc Lucula Forest. Not so far to the north of here, in fact. And although she doesn't make it into Sysiel often, it's a comfort to know she's keeping the watch near our border. I hope she hasn't gotten mickly business with a counselor. You're talking about her kinda nice there, says Cecil. I'm kinda suspicious. Maybe you're the person that she came to meet? Maybe? I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Until we meet again. Yes. Hmm. That is rather suspicious. Indeed, how you doing? Looks like... What's the latest gossip? We've been playing with these horrific undead for years now. Uh, okay, I think we've heard that particular thing before. Okay, I don't really see anything. Anything new that I'm particularly... Except all the stuff... Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry to, to yawn in your ears. 
It's not that you're, you know, talking to you is boring or anything, Celia. You've had a long night. Until we meet again. Indeed. All right, let's talk to Fletcher. All right, do you, uh, what about the latest, latest gossip? Orcs, right, okay. But what about goods? Do you have anything new that I might wish to... Not so much. Oh, we were going to sell those. this, though, weren't we? I guess I should give that to, uh... Until we meet again. Yes. Hang on just a moment. I just need to give this to the appropriate person to sell. My friend returns. Indeed. Uh, wrong person, though. Hang on. Until we meet again. There we go. Would you care to purchase this from us? You would. That's fabulous. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty. Let's give that to Val as well while we're at it. Now. Where do we need to go? I should have looked at the map first, is what I should have done. We need to go to Sicile East. And get out of this noise. Ah, <sighs> that's much better. Alrighty. So back we go over here. Alrighty, I'm going to go on the assumption that the key that we need is going to be summon undead warrior skill book. Is that a witch spell? I don't have a witch in my group. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it looks like we have to go around this way. Oh! And that reminds me. Hang on just a sec. I need to set up my mouse so that it is pressing the alt key for me. I did notice that there was a few th times when having the alt key constantly pressed did cause the game to act a little oddly. You know, I, I was pre expe expecting it to do something and it didn't. But as I recall, it wasn't that often, so I'm going to keep it on normally. I think we've already been through this area. Okay, so... Mortician's Hut. And that is not a treasure map, actually. Nope. Nope, cancel. I want that one. Nope. There we go. There is not a treasure map 7. The thing I was looking at was talking about that skill book, which we could see through the wall anyway. So we need to go down here, which is down by the well. Which is actually another quest that we need to look into. So, I don't know. Do I want to do that right now? I know we look butter knife, a one-headed weapon. See? I missed that one before. Well, I don't know. Let's, let's look around this area. Last time we were here, perception was much, much lower. Come here, Val. You're supposed to be leading the charge. Well, at least until Braveheart is the more appropriate party. You've got the best perception.
Yeah, so we'll have to come around the other way. Alright, so let's, let's look a quick around a little bit more here. I think, as I recall, there's flaming ass hats over here we need to look at. But uh, let's have a look at this well again first, see if we can figure out how to help this well. In fact, let's look at the log. Maybe that'll give us a clue. Oh, we haven't read this. Oh, that's right, when we talked to Aru. Aru asked us to find out who raised the Skeleton King, the madman responsible for setting the undead upon Sysiel. Hmm. Yeah. My current suspicion is it's Cecil. Anyway, the Wishing Brother. We went... We met Walter McWishingwell, a well whose brother was kidnapped and brought to an alternate dimension. We found William McWishingwell, the kidnapped well, but he told us we won't be able to save him until we found another way into Hy Hyberheim, part of the realm of fairy. Ah. We now know how to save William. We'll have to find a spell guarded by King Boreas. King Boreas. Let's just pop into there. Uh, can you grant me a wish? Uh, would that I could. But without my dear brother, I'm a woeful wisp of my former wonderment. We work in tandem, you see, and Willie's always been the stronger. He might manage to work alone, but I'm a weakling without him with me. All right. I thought... Oh, yes. Okay, this is how we get there. Let's go there. I just want to have a look around again and see... She's got better perception now, so maybe we'll see something we didn't the first time we were here. Oh, this makes me shiver. It's cold. anything but the chest over there. Not much. It was here before I... Must be of some value. Is there anything I do to help? Open from without. Might be able to help. Uh, if you find a new way. Okay, so it looks like that I was probably... Won't let me. It's locked. Don't suppose this map has a name. I didn't notice it when we logged in or loaded in, but it, uh, it's, well, probably, uh, what the logbook said, which was... Hyberheim. I didn't see anything that can really help us, so I guess we'll go back. Um, hopefully he can send us back. Oh, yes, I would like you to whisk me to him now. Yes, I'd like to go see him in Sysiel. We are no forwarder in that regard, so I guess we're heading this way. 
All right. I'm pretty sure there's some guys in here. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. Level 8s. Well, we're level 8s now. We should be able to do something about this. Huh. They're all fire guys. Charred Bone Knight. That looks cool. Hmm. Target is too far. I'm going to try the water barrel. Can't you... Why can't I press that? There we go. I was pressing it, I just wasn't getting the noise. Okay, see that? Okay, you are going to move up. Here. And hang tight. You are going to go here and hang tight as well. You are going to try to teleport somebody. The target is too far. you there, but you'll have to hang tight. Spider. Spider. You're going to go there. And then you're going to wait. Because I knew these guys would move forward. Uh, no. I, I, I don't want to. Oh, there's one more than I thought. Okay. Alrighty. Now. Unfortunately, her fire-based stuff I don't think is going to do too much good. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to lift this water barrel. And I'm going to try dropping it here because I'm wondering if it will actually... Get rid of... It, it did. Will it stay gone? I don't know. It didn't exactly, you know, hurt them or anything, but... And you guys are 11 meters. Okay, so I'm going to keep those. She... I don't think she has any shields. Oh, immune to burning scroll. Uh, let's do that for her, so. Hammer time! 
Okay. Now. Let's try to charm him. Is he ours? He's ours. Awesome. Okay, Braveheart. I'm actually going to put you here. Let's get this up. Character is warm. Alrighty. And then we're going to rain on everybody's parade. And we're not going to Zack because, well, actually, looks like we don't have any pool of water. Don't think there's a pool of water, so I think it might be safe. We will find out. Uh, apparently, I was wrong. Who did I stun of my own guys? Did I, I manage to not stun anybody? Oh, I think I stunned my spider. Okay, oh well. Okay, I did, couldn't see the water, but apparently it was there, so... Oops. Okay. Awesome. And can I move her out of the hopefully she won't get stunned next turn. I think I'll just leave her there for the moment. Okay, so the stun went away. Alrighty. Ah, uh, let's do a head vice. Who have we got over here? That's within range. You're not within range, are you? Archer. You're within range, though. You are stunned. Well, hopefully that won't last too long. Alrighty. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I think... I'm kind of thinking that if we hit him with fire, it's probably going to help them. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to haste Braveheart. And I'm also going to move forward. Alright, Cloresta. I need you to do something here. I need you to knock down. I can't. You can't knock down. All right. How about you go and hit him while he's frozen? Okay. Okay. Can you head vice? He's blind. Can you do that to him? He's blinded as well, okay. Spider. How about you come over here? Good job. You must suffer. I'd rather not, actually. No, it mustn't. Okay, we're not going to use anything electricity based. I guess I'll try something fire based just to see. Uh, uh, it's going to get the spider too, but I want to see if this works. Mean to warm. Did we do any damage to him? We healed him. Okay, definitely no fire then.
All right. I'd rather not. Okay. Well, fortunately the flames are not doing too much. For which I'm very grateful, actually. I can't use electricity. Okay, so we're just going to shoot these guys. Let's just shoot these guys. Let's shoot this guy who's no longer charmed. Okay. Okay, good. And... My spider is dead! the spider oh dear she is not doing I didn't realize she was so hurt okay well Braveheart is going to help her out she's too far okay well he has to come here anyway And then you know what? I'm gonna hit you for that. You and all your buddies. Eat that. Graveheart's pissed. <laughs> You're next, bud. Let's see if we can. Yeah, he's blinded. Okay, good. I'm kind of fond of my flesh, actually. Not in a creepy way, but I would like to keep it. I was born with it, you know? Kind of attached to it, so to speak. Alrighty. Claresta! Can you get rid of him? Good job. Go over here, too. Come on, Braveheart, you can do it. You can sort of do it. Alrighty. Uh, I think he's out of range, isn't he? Or not. Not for you, I guess. Awesome. Spider. You don't have enough left to bite him, I suspect. Oh no, you do. Good. Now if you can just target him. Excellent. Good job, guys. Poor spider. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of some of this.
And what's this I've spotted? Ooh, you find a fire essence lying around. Nice. Okay, just trying to see. Okay, so we've got some more more ass hattery going on over here. that way. I'd like to look around in this area a little bit more. What was the earth shake? Something was earth shaking. Hey Braveheart, I don't suppose you could uh, pick that up, could you? Put it in your backpack? Okay, so you're warm, but you're not overburdened. Okay. Now I just gotta remember I have it. Don't walk in the fire. Nice. That's lava, isn't it? I think it's lava. Okay, so we got four, five, at least five guys over in that way. Okay. Do not touch the lava. In fact, let's do a save. Or it might not be lava, it might just be embers. They didn't even notice. <laughs> oh darn! I was trying to get the <laughs> I was trying to get the uh, fire uh, or the 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 rain on here before these guys noticed. Okay. Um, oops. level is our spider anyway? Level 8? Okay. Okay, I think we need to move up. Okay. So let's 
save those. Okay, so it looks like I can teleport someone. But I think it's more important we get some rain happening. In as centralized an area as possible. Now, I'm hoping that we're out of the water now, but we'll see if I... No, I think we're right at the edge of the water. Alright, no electric shenanigans then. Okay, spider. Can you bite him again? Good job. Ah! I don't want to. Okay, so if they're on fire, then they get healed. So you actually want to pull them off the fire. Alrighty. Well, knowing that... Okay. We've got one of them. Can I charm you? Are you within reach? Target is too far. How far can I reach? Three meters. Uh, okay, I guess. I really don't like moving this close to them. Because I think they're going to be healing. But we'll... Charm failed. Darn it. Oh well. Okay, you... Really? Okay, Spidey. Can you take out... well, maybe not. He's, he got healed up some, but... Can you take him out? Oh, you missed him. Spider! I think you need four to bite him again, so... keep an eye on their health because they can do a lot of damage. Um, Okay. 
Who are you? Who is the most hurt? You're not very hurt at all. Okay. Okay, Spidey. Good job. What about this guy? You're hanging in there. Good spiders. Uh oh. Save that. You knocked him down. Good job. Braveheart finishes him off. Okay, we still got one left. Good job. Did we blind him? Yes, we did. That's wonderful. Hey! How did you see us to hit us? Here, have an arrow. We got him. There's still one more? Where? Well, darn it. Um. Oh. But he doesn't know about us yet. Oh, there you are. So sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna sit here. Braveheart. That guy might be too far away for you, but we'll see. Did we get them all this time? Alright. 